So peeps, and welcome to my Let's Play of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, if you notice, uh, the UI is slightly different because um, my last app that I was playing this on stopped working properly, so I had to get a different app. Um, this is my third time recording this because each time I've run out of space in the middle of recording and it's completely crapped out on the recording. So, third time's a charm, eh? Anyways, if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Um, if you like the video, smash that thumbs up. If you dislike it, smash that thumbs down. How many other YouTubers tell you to do that? I wait. If you have anything to say, drop a comment down below. I'm also going to do fund me. The link will be in the description down below. And it would be greatly appreciated if you could donate any small amount. It would help me grow the channel exponentially. Without further ado, uh, let's get into... Um, part three of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yeah, um, so, this emulator seems to be less, less than slowdown. It's still got some slowdown in some spots, but it's not as bad as what I was having to, having to deal with on the first two parts. If you even managed to sit through all of it, because like, I wouldn't blame you if like, you didn't, because like, it was dreadful, the slowdown. But hey, at least it's funny to watch me fail with slow down, eh? But anyways, um... Hopefully I should be able to... well, I've got... Well, as I'm recording this, part one is going up this afternoon. What am I doing? There we are. Part one's going up this afternoon, and part two is going up tomorrow afternoon. So... I'm trying to at least upload one video per day. Um, I don't know like, how many I'll be able to record and upload per day, but I found out that Asda just down the road has free Wi Fi and is on even when they're closed. Which means I can go down there, I can upload my videos, and I can also download some videos to watch when I get back when I get back to the flat. But hey, at least just because I have no data and no Wi-Fi where I live, at least I'm not giving up, at least I'm still attempting to make content and upload videos. It may have taken a few days, it may have been like a week since my last upload, but at least at least I'm trying. I'm pressing right, come on. Yeah, that's another thing with this particular um, app is, despite the fact that I made the um, D-pad bigger, it still doesn't seem to register my thumb that well. So the dead zone on it is like ridiculous. But um yeah, as I was saying. So I've got a, at least like um a video for today and video well I say today, uh, it's not it will be this will definitely go up um on a day where today is a day, but you, you know what I mean. At least I've got two days worth of videos scheduled while I'm recording this. And I can go down and upload and download and then like yeah. So, at least there's that. But, um, as I've had to record this for the third time now, um, I definitely need to, um, make sure that I go down and, like, upload, like, a part, like, at least per day, if not, like, a couple, a couple of videos per day. And it means I have to take trips back and forth, but hey-ho. I went... Really? I'm pressing right, I'm pressing right, come on. But yeah, no, like, I ended up going down to Asda at 5 o'clock in the morning, just so I could upload some videos today. Um, but yeah. Oh, we lost a lot of good, um, commentary content on the last two parts. Not the last two parts, sorry, the last two times I tried to record this. But, what can I do? My phone, I've only got 8 gigabytes of storage, and like, a 20 to 30 minute video is like 1 to 1.5 and gigabytes, and the 8 gigabytes of storage is, if you don't include the system apps um, that you can't uninstall, unless you root your phone. Tails, can you, can you not? Tails, I'm trying to talk. Oh. But yeah, anyways, um, so, and this is why I'm only doing, like, 
to... Damn it. Yeah, uh, oh, that was close. That's why I'm only doing like two levels per video. In fact, because I've had to re-record this three times, I might only do the one level on this one, because Mr. Cave has been giving me a few issues. Ah, oh, that was close. Right, come on, let's see if I can take him down in one cycle. Yep, and I managed to get on the platform. I don't know how I managed to do that on with like a D-pad that doesn't work properly. I really need to get myself like a um, Bluetooth controller for this. Well, I need to get myself an actual computer. But y you know, this is why I would really appreciate if you could donate to my GoFundMe because all the money that goes to my GoFundMe will be going straight back into the channel. I'm pressing right. See, I'm, no, I'm pressing right, not down. But yeah, so, um, as I was saying... Now one thing that, um, I was talking about in the previous times I tried to record this was how good the music is in Sonic games. Uh, Hilltop Zone, very underrated theme. Mystic Cave, absolute banger, a classic tune. And I love my OC remixes of these songs as well. And... My first ever- no 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 oh, damn it. But yeah, my first ever gig, the first ever band I ever saw live was Crush 40. At Summer of Sonic in 2010. I got to meet June, you know, and like, Johnny was too busy setting up on stage, so I didn't get to meet him. But I got to meet June, and, ah, uh, they're amazing live. And considering the fact that, like, I was like, what, six years old when I first heard their music? Back on Sonic Adventure 1? And in like 1998, 1999, something like that. Whenever the Dreamcast came out in the UK. I don't know, I was a kid. I can't remember exactly what year it was. I just remember being a kid and coming home from school one day. Well, it's just a funny story. Basically, um, we'd sometimes stop off at um, a second-hand game shop on the way home from uh, school if my uncle picked me up in his car and he picked me up that day and so we stopped off at the uh, second hand game shop on the way um, and I thought it, you know, he was just picking up some N64 games or PlayStation games or you know, something like that, or maybe Mega Drive, I don't know, because we had a Mega Drive at the time we didn't have a Saturn uh, we had an N64, a PlayStation 1, um, a Mega Drive don't know if we still had a Super Nintendo, but yeah, and Game Boy as well, obviously, and Game Boy Color. But yeah, no, like, and I saw like two Dreamcast games come out of the window after we went in, and it's just like, hang on a second, what? And he comes back to the car, and he just puts the two games in my lap, and I'm like, but we don't have a Dreamcast, and he's like, you'll see, just wait till we get home. So we get home, and there's my granddad. Um, I mentioned it in my coming out story video, but yeah, I was raised by my grandparents. Oh my god, what is this lag? But yeah, there's my granddad playing uh, the Casinopolis Zone on um, Sonic Adventure. I was gobsmacked. Like, I couldn't believe my like little eyes. Like, no, 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 no. Oh. But yeah, no, like, I'd been hearing about Dreamcast, Sonic Adventure, and gaming magazines, and, like, on the shows on TV that would do with games and stuff, because I used to watch those all the time and get the magazines and stuff. We didn't have the internet at the time, so it's not as like, I've looked online to find any information out. So, like, it was all purely whatever was, like, you know, released by, like, whatever publishers and stuff like that. But, you know. So I was... No, 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 no. Oh, the, the infamous pit. The pit of doom, the pit of no return. Even worse if you're Super Sonic. Just gotta wait for the Super Sonic to run out. Anyways. So yeah, I was excited as as all hell to play Sonic Adventure. And when I saw that opening cutscene with Crush 40's Open Your Heart and uh, Perfect Chaos and those graphics. Oh my god, I was... I was mesmerised. Not gonna lie. And then... 
when I was 17 going and seeing that band live. Like, as my first ever band. Like... It, it, like, you can't make this up, like... Sega, Sega kid growing up, and then my first ever gig is Sega related, like... What? I'm pressing right. Okay, you know what? I'm going to end this recording right now before I run out of space again and have to re-record it all over again. So I will see you all in part four and I'll continue my story about seeing Crash 4 and everything. Then, peace out and namaste.